What's going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new video. So, in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is... God, I can't open this thing for my life. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, the Kraken clone. So, uh, I basically... Well, today, not basically, but today, uh, I got... Well, I had my new camera since Saturday. But the, but the head mount, or the, you know, the head ring, whatever it's called, like the head mount, finally came today. Uh, as long as, as well as a 128GB SSD card. Well, with micro SD card. I don't know why I call it an SSD, it's not an SSD at all. Uh, but yeah, micro SD card. So, yeah, but what I'm gonna be talking about is the cracking Grown. Uh, first off, what I want to say about this thing is, it's not as bad as people are making out to be, uh, I mean, yeah, sure, it's a little bit cheap, but like, that's to be expected, because it's, you know, a clone of the Kraken, Raken, Cracker, Cracker, Racken, Crack, Crack, Rack, what, you know, Kraken, that is what it's called. I call it, I like, I call it the Kraken. Even though it's literally spelled Crake Racken. I don't care what you say. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so this thing is honestly, like, pretty good for what it is. Uh, then again, it's 40 bucks and it's, and it's cheap China crap, but, you know, it's a Kraken clone. What do you expect? Uh, so I'm not sure what aluminum it's made out of, but it's definitely cheap. Uh, I should have brought my actual Kraken out here, just because, you know, uh, comparison, but this is a review on, on this thing, so I probably won't. But anyway, uh, yeah, so, this thing basically, uh, like I, said, like I said, I don't know what type of aluminum it's made out of. It's made out of some type of metal, like aluminum or something, I don't know. Uh, the grip is honestly, like, a lot better, if I'm being totally honest, it's a lot better than the actual Kraken. Uh, I like it a lot better just, just because it's, like, more scaly. And it's more like rough, I guess. While the like, well, let's see here if I can get this in focus real quick. Like, if you can kind of tell, it's more scratchy, I guess. Like, it's more, uh, it's more rough, which makes it a lot better, a lot better to grip. Because I know with the actual Kraken, if it's like real humid outside, it makes it like really sticky and hard and like hard to flip. But with this, it just kind of floats in my hand, and like you know, it's all around pretty good. And Oh, there's all some scratches there, um, here, and, here and there, which is honestly to be expected because, you know, this is my casual beater. With my Kraken, I don't beat it at all, just for the fact that, you know, it's a blade stroke, oh, and I was about to say it's a blade stroke exclusive, like, it's not. But, yeah, I got it from Blade Show, and it's, like, the one only Kraken that I have, like, the, original, the one and only authentic Kraken that I have. So, yeah. So, as you can tell, I, it was, it's got, you know, some tap in it. It's got quite a bit of play. Oh yeah, although I finally learned the shortstop as well as me messing it up. Let's see here, shortstop. Oop, there we go. So yeah, it's got some quite a bit of play. Let's see here. So yeah, and I put some white duct tape on it. Uh, I was when I was in a call yesterday. No, two days ago. I uh, I was just sitting outside on a call with in my VC with some people in my Discord server. Link in the description <laughs> uh, or in the comments, depending on. If I'm lazy or not. <laughs> uh, but I was talking to some people in my Discord, specifically Nescoma Flips, Casey, and Mind, and Mind Winder Flips. Uh, I'll have all of their uh, Instagrams and like YouTubes and crap down in the description. I don't think Nescoma has one, so probably just Casey and Mind, and Mind Winder. Uh, so, basically, anyway. Uh, they were making, they were making fun of the of this tape basically, saying, "Splix, why do you have that tape on there? Like, oh my gosh, it's like not grippy at all. Like, I don't care what you say, it literally is grippy. Oh crap, it's it's pretty grippy for what it is. Basically, uh, this thing helps my um helps my ladders all, like a lot. So, like, okay, so it, if I find like a little, like a big like little dent, like a, a big stopping point, like right there, as you, as you can see, let me take the wide the wide angle lens off real quick." So it's like it makes a little stopping point, like right there, for your for your finger to just hit. Let me go ahead and put this thing back on. Let's see here. Come on, magnetize. There we go. Is that good? That's good. But yeah, this thing makes it a lot better for like I don't know, like grabbing onto it. And you know, it just makes sliders a lot easier. I can do them run free now. <laughs> and yeah, so this thing, uh, it's got it's got pressure Zen pens, which are, which I think are. Honestly, a pretty nice addition to the Kraken clone, just because I just hate scribbles and pens. I know some people love them, some people hate them. I personally are neutral about them. Uh, if you give them to me, okay. If you don't, okay. Because uh, you get to lock tie them and it comes out and stuff like that. 
with press fit, I, you know, they're pressing there. So, and with the pivots, uh, it's all gonna be cheap chunk crap. Uh, you can go on USA Knife Maker and buy some of their hardware, which I don't recommend because, you know, it's a cracking clone. I would only do that for a rep clone, to make it cl very close to an authentic, authentic BRS rep. And also, speaking of clones, uh, this one, this one doesn't have it. Uh, this one, the, the Ballet Plus logo on it. Let's see here if I can get it in frame. Right there is the Ballet Plus logo, if you can even see that. I, uh, but, uh, the Live Blade Kraken and the, and the Live Blade, uh, rep both have, you know, the Kraken has the Squid Issues logo on it, and the rep clone has the BRS logo on it, which I think, like, I support clones and all. I don't, like I said I, in the past, I don't personally like the idea of uh, clones, because, you know, it is, like, product theft, I think, or, like, it's like, it's like idea theft. I, you, you know what I'm talking about. But basically, but, like, putting the logo there, it's just kind of freaked up, but, like, I can't stop it, you can't stop it, you know. It's whatever at this point. Uh, but, yeah, so, anyway, this knife is pretty and pretty good for what it is. It's about 40 bucks on AliExpress, took, took about a month that I'm a month and a day to get here, a month, month and a day or two. Uh, it was it was funny. I, I sent my Kraken in for uh, for maintenance because I had a crap ton of tap. Like I said in my other video, like long story short, I had a crap ton of tap and the screw was, uh, you know, broken off. Uh, so, and, and AliExpress said, said this thing would arrive uh, July 11th, which was the day before I sent it in. So I sent it in July, July 10th, but and, it's, and it got sent in and my things in the AliExpress that I was in my Kraken clone would be here on July 11th. So, you know, I was pretty excited. I was like, okay, I won't have a Kraken to flip, but I will have a Kraken clone. Nope, I won't. <laughs> uh, this thing arrived uh, July 18th, I think. I don't know for sure. It was it was last Friday. Uh, and honestly, my points about this, ugh, I hurt a little bit. My opinions on this, uh, when I got this, was, wow, this thing feels cheap. <laughs> Which is to be expected because, like I said, crap, it's a clone. So, yeah, the blade's a little bit darker. It's still a non-inked blade, but it looks a little bit darker. Which is perfectly fine for what it is. Uh, I have this as a casual beater, like I've said. And I think it's perfectly fine for what it is. So, yeah. So that's about it for this video. Uh... And I was kind of ending it off pretty, like, pretty sudden. I actually plan to end it off just, just here, too. If I miss anything about the Kraken clone, definitely let me know. Uh, and if I need to, like, configure anything with my with my new camera, let me know. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's got the DJI Pocket. The DJI Pocket 2 is... Uh, it's got a gimbal on it. Tilt lock. Let's see here. I'll actually show you guys real quick. So, this is it's in tilt lock right now. So, no matter if I... Move it right here to look at the creek. It'll always be looking at the creek. All right, hold on a second. Let me do that. So no matter how much I look up and down, it'll always, put, always be looking at the creek, which is why I like it for flipping like this. Because it always looks down. Like, no matter if I tilt my head up, so you can see me now. Hello, but I have a black bar over there. So, hello. <laughs> uh, and then it has this setting called FPV, which I, which this setting is, is for... Um, you know, casual filming, like, if I want to, like, take it and hold it like this, and have, like, a normal camera, if I just hold it like this, it'll go all those different directions. Actually, hold on, let me... If I do this, then it'll like, go all those different directions. It's in follow mode now, which basically... Uh, you're done. <laughs> you're done, you stupid motorcycle. But yeah, this is what, uh... You, you, you see. It's basically uh, the video cut out, but I go on to say that uh, when the camera's putting out Will's chest, that means it's in follow mode, which is what the camera's in right now. And then basically end the video and say yeet. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, just thought I'd let you know. I don't know why my camera cut out. I, I barely use any storage. I have one twenty eight gigabyte micro SD. So, yeah, I don't really know, but it's whatever. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Yeet. And yes, I did just on my crack against my table. Anyway, see you guys.